think if you're in B2B, you should have a pricing page full stop. Even it doesn't matter if you're a service company, a tech company, or a SaaS company. Unless you want to feed kind of poor quality leads or opportunities to your sales team, then there's no real excuse. I mean, if you're in SaaS or tech, then you're, tip, you're going to have the typical three tiers, right? You'll jump on the pricing page. Tier A, $20 a month. Tier B, $50 a month. Tier C, 100 And then enterprise, like request to consult with sales. That's the bog standard option, right? But the beauty of pricing pages is one, they show transparency. Two, they actually make sure that the prospect has got budget um, to work with you, so you can send better leads to sales. But um, a, a thing a lot of companies neglect is they can handle objections. So you can address those common questions that you get on sales calls. Like for example, on our SEO pricing page, I'll say, one of my questions is, isn't it quicker to do Google Ads? And then I say, yes, it is. Um, but SEO is going to be evergreen, organic, searchable content. So what are those common questions you get on sales calls? Address them head on. It will save your sales team time and pain. Um, and if you get common objections raised, again, address those head on, whether that's FAQs at the bottom, maybe a video summary. And then you can whack in some social proof so you can put in some nice customer success stories or videos or testimonials in there.